going on? That's a funk. You guys soon will be disconnected from Scientology because I'm sure you're going to leave. It happens a lot. Jason Begay is an OT5 and he left. Class 5 auditor, movie star. He was the guy who's on all the tapes <coughs> for Scientology. Worked with David Miscavige personally. And you know what? He left. Because Scientology doesn't work. It's a con and a cult. And it costs way too much money. It was driving him crazy. Flunk guy. The 16 year old got raped by the top guy, Gabriel Williams. Scientology protected the man. They told her parents not to go to the police. Which is pretty pathetic and sad. Why is that? Makes no sense at all. Think about it. A con. That's what it is. Scientology is a con. Come talk to me, guys. What's going on here? That's guys, guess what? The police likes us better than you. We just talked to him. The cops said as long as we're just protesting, we're doing nothing illegal. And to carry on and have fun. Looks like you guys had a big fail. Hey, Dennis. Dennis, come talk to me. Why can't we talk to each other? Let's talk. Why don't you, where's your tone 40, buddy? What's the deal here? You lost it? Did you get in trouble last time we came over to your little stress test? That's a big, how many, hey, how many books did you sell this week? Better yet, how many stress tests did you get? How many raw public, as you call them, got in Scientology the last year? Probably none. Let's come and talk. Is this event all about money? Are we going to give more money to Scientology so pretty soon he can't even drive his Toyota? He'll be driving some little ugly van that's like from the 70s? Mom, yeah. <coughs> Why did you guys protect the man that raped Jennifer Stewart? Why did Dennis call up Mike, which is Jennifer's father, and tell him that she was a promiscuous slut? Why is that? That's a big flunk on your part. Jeff Carroll's taught me how to go pick at these people. Why can't you come out and confront me? When I was in Scientology, Jeff made me go to their houses and get in their face, call them little cat fuckers, call them a bunch of names. I would make stories up as Jeff made me. He would have me lie to the police all the time. Why can't you come up to me and confront me a little bit? Mikey! How's the seizures going, buddy? Why can't your dad cure you since he's a class six? What's going on? Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it doesn't work. How's the seizures? How do you feel getting kicked out of the Syrian because you couldn't even survive it? Come out here and talk to me. Don't be a coward like your father. Yeah, I'm the best of the best when it comes to you guys talking. Come out here and talk to me. I learned really good when I was a young kid how to deal with this kind of stuff. How to deal with SPs. They're supposed to blow, but you know what? I disconnected from Scientology because I realized either handle or disconnect. The Scientology was suppressing me and my whole family. So... Disconnection is the way. But why does Scientology disconnect families? Little kids. Why does Scientology protect the man that raped my wife? I used to be on staff here, man. And my wife got raped when she was 16. Scientology protected the guy because they said, you can't go to the police because it's bad PR and the psychs are going to take her away. It was pretty sad. No, she seems nice. And I just don't want you to waste your life in here because I was in it for over 24 years. And when you get on to OT3, you're going to realize that the thing, Xenu, the aliens, and I had no idea about that. But Xenu is going to cost you $400,000 to learn about. You don't need to waste your life in there. And I hope you don't have any kids that are stuck in Scientology because they don't let you have kids in the Sea Org. They don't. At all. My friend's back. Hey, man. Suit man, come out here and talk to me. Don't hide behind the trees. You're just going to sit there on your phone all day? What's that going to accomplish? You think L. Ron Hubbard's going to come back and save you? After he was already drugged up on psych drugs? What's the deal, man? Why can't you come confront us? Why won't you come confront me? Come on over here. <coughs> Why did Scientology protect a rapist? That's what I'm having a problem with. That doesn't make any sense to me. How you doing, man? Are you a Scientologist or no? What? Are you a Scientologist? Uh, no, I'm a Oh. Okay, what happened with me was, I was born in Scientology, right? Okay. I was born in Scientology, and then when I was about, probably around 20 or so, <clears throat> I had a friend named Jennifer, and she used to go to staff here, and I used to go to staff here, we used to work here. I see. And so when we used to work here, she got raped when she was 16 by a 28-year-old man, and Scientology made her stay with this guy because they wanted to expand the org, and she worked for like 80 hours a week. When it was found out that she was raped, they simply said, 
to the parents, you can't call the police. Because if you do, social services will take her away from you guys. The psychiatrist will come and ruin her mind. And so, they protect the guy 100%. So then later on, when she turned 18, me and her went to the police to put the guy in jail. He got two felonies. Scientology came after us. Then we sued their asses. Then they resolved it because they were afraid of the bad PR. And now we're out here picketing because they disconnected families like him. He got disconnected from because he's called an illegal PC because if you've taken any psych drugs, psychiatric medication, Scientology believes they can't help you and that you're just evil. And so since he took some psych drugs when he was nine, his father disconnected from him for over 20 years. And so they disconnect families all the time. So we're out here protesting because we're pretty unhappy about the whole thing. And we're trying to let everybody know that comes in because when you're in Scientology, you can't think critically if you're not allowed to or you get kicked out. Okay. That's pretty much what happened. All right, cool. You should go in there and talk to them now. <laughs> Tell us what happened. <laughs> I doubt they'll even say anything. Yeah, they probably won't say anything. But I'm Tommy Gorman, and if you go on the internet, just type in my name, you'll find all this stuff about us, like full stories about things that happen and stuff like that. <sighs> Anybody else here? Yes. He's here! You can join in if you want. All right, well, thanks. All right, man, you came! Hey, we got more picketers, suit man. Come over here and talk to me. Don't be a coward. Come on. Come on. That is awesome, guys. How you doing? I brought the family down here. Hell yeah. Hi. Yeah, we've been, we've been dealing with a lot of Scientologists. They, they yeah, kind of just run inside and stuff. It's funny. What's, what, what's the event today? I think it's to raise money. The Dianetics World Tour. <laughs> they took all this stuff. Hey, look at this, guys. We got another ex-Scientologist over here. What's going on? We're midget talks and Come on over here, man. When your PI stop following us around, we'll stop picketing. Come on over here and talk to us. Come on, man. If you want to know his name, if you want to know his name, you should come over here and talk to me about it. Come on, let's talk. Don't be a coward. Sit in there trying to act like your bodyguard ain't working. You're too small for that. Come on, buddy. Let's talk. Hey, this guy's smart. He's married, he has a child, and he's allowed to have kids. In the Sea Org, you're not allowed to have kids. Why is that? Why do they make you have abortions in the Sea Org where they kick you out if you're pregnant? That's pretty sick in the head. Think about it. You're not, oh, that's right, you're not allowed to think. Don't let me help you think, though. You might get in trouble. You're laughing because you know it's true. Come on, guys, let's talk. Let's talk about some of these things. Disconnection, fair game, trick sued, lied to, or destroyed. Don't be cowards. Let's talk. What's up? It's your wife. Hey Jennifer, I'm ta I'm sitting here, I see uh, Mike, but he's cowering not far away and he won't come talk to us. He's if being a coward. stop following us, we'll stop picketing. That's right. And so we're here, there's like five of us right now. Including the baby. <laughs> That's a waste of money, you want to clear the planet. Stop Stop uh, attacking your critics. Oh, that guy, that cool guy, that I the white guy, that, and then his wife came and his kid, his kid's Religion cute. He doesn't need trade secrets. Yeah. But I gotta go, stop okay? Stop suing these kids five on months. the internet. Okay, love you, bye. Freedom of speech. That was yeah. Jennifer I was just talking to. The one who got raped when she was 16. Yeah, you remember her, Mike Feeney. And then you had a seizure and you thought because you found the SP in your life. So you had to do PTS SP course. What's going on, man? Come talk to me. Your dad couldn't even confront me. Obviously, you're not going to. I wish you'd come over and talk to us. Go to college and get a real career. Why do you want to make 50 bucks a week for the rest of your life? You're not clearing any planets. What about someone who is an illegal PC? You can't even cure them. Come on, let's talk, man. I hope your seizures do a little better. Maybe you should go to the doctors for that stuff. But you might be declared a suppressive type H or J for being curious. That's a flunk. Come on, guys, come talk to us. You'll have more fun with us. Why did you guys have that guy get disconnected from? Two guys over here got disconnected from. One from his father, one from his mother. Come over here and talk to us. Don't be cowards. Okay, I know you guys are thinking, what would Ron do at this point? Well, Ron would do what you're doing, hide. Be a coward, that's fine. Ron is gone, but the con goes on. You know, in Xenu, X-E-N-U, what's up with Xenu? Ask your dad, Mikey. Ask your dad about Xenu. 75 million years ago. Xenu came to town. It's crazy. It's a bunch of crap, man. You're wasting your life. And now your brother can't even have children because he's in the Sea Org with little Muscavige.